There is optimism for a speedy passage of a new Magna Carta for the poor in the 16th Congress. What was considered as an unrealistic Magna Carta for the poor was earlier vetoed by President Aquino. Solons agree with the President's move. This report. Congress is keen in pushing for a new Magna Carta for the poor in the 16th Congress. Emerging among legislators is President Aquino was right in vetoing the bill approved by Congress due to budgetary concerns needed to implement the new law. The President said it would be mission impossible since the government has no resources to allocate 3.3 trillion pesos to be sourced from this year's budget of 2 trillion. It would have given false hopes to the poor, according to the President. Congressman Sergio Apostol said any law to be filed must first pass through a thorough review of how funding will be provided to include the sources. Even Congressman Toby Tianco, campaign manager of UNA, agrees with the decision of the President. I agreed with him. The President should not be put in such a position where he will sign a law and it cannot be implemented because there is no proper appropriations. Mm. And, and if there is no uh, proper appropriations, what kind of law will we have that will just put the president in uh, compromise? There will never be enough budget for all of the program. Diba? So prioritization lang yan. Um, uh, doon sa, sa paggawa mo ng budget, yearly na ginagawa. So, dapat pinaprioritize yung mas kailangan ng tao at yung mas kailangan ng tao eh syempre yung mag uplift ng buhay ng mahihirap. The President is fully committed in reducing poverty incidence from 26 to 16.6% before his term ends in 2016. In the 2013 national budget, 567.9 billion pesos or 31% has been committed to poverty alleviation programs to include education, health, housing, and livelihood opportunities. A major program is the Conditional Cash Transfer Program with 44.4 billion pesos for education and health, a program which will promote the President's vision of inclusive growth. For the People's Television Network, this is Freddie Abando reporting.